Hello. Thank you for joining me today on the Bounder BB Show. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform. So you've got a great audience here. Who do I have in the studio with me? My name is Janet Jordan. I'm uh, a patient uh, living with follicular lymphoma. Uh, my name is Josh Brody. I'm a hematology oncology doctor, uh, and I focused on taking care of patients with lymphoma. Doctor, would you set the medical platform for us, for us to understand the disease, and then I'll talk to Janet, who lives with the disease? Sure, absolutely. Uh, blood cancers are extremely common in America. Uh, we divide them into leukemias and lymphomas, depending on the, whether they present more in the patient's blood or more in the patient's lymph nodes. Lymphomas are primarily in patient's lymph nodes, and that goes along with the most common presenting symptoms of lymphoma, which is just an enlarging and not painful lymph node uh, over weeks and months. And uh, follicular lymphoma is the most prevalent type of lymphoma. And there are more than 100,000 Americans walking around today with follicular lymphoma. Uh, the good news is that those patients can live for a long, long time, for 10 and 15 or even more years. The bad news is that we don't have a cure for follicular lymphoma today. And I say today because we hope to have a cure in 2016 or 2017 or um, as soon as possible. And the precedent for the unbelievable advances in research and treatment of patients that we've had over the past few years uh, is our inspiration for why we think there should be a cure over the next few years, hopefully. Janet, would you tell me about your, um, your state and how you're impacted by this? Yes, currently my state is is quite good in in that I have been fortunate to be to have received this targeted therapy that Dr. Brody can uh, uh, explain for the past three years, and I'm in remission, living a normal life, going to work, enjoying friends and family. Um, prior to receiving the current treatment, I received two different types of chemotherapy, which was a completely different kind of experience in terms of side effects and energy level and not being able to, to work and do your normal daily routine. I recently was told by a patient that had some disease, she said, everybody lives with something. How is it living with this something? Yes, that's a good question. Um, no one wants to hear uh, the doctor tell you that you have cancer, of course. And, and so in the beginning years, it, it was something that I, I had to make a huge adjustment uh, emotionally and, and just uh, understanding that this was my reality and, and that I, I had to do as much as I possibly could to remain well. And so I just decided that that was, that was going to be my, my way of dealing with it, with reaching out to friends and family for support and uh, being fortunate to, to have excellent doctors who, shepherd, who have shepherded me through this process. Janet Jordan, thanks for sharing your story. Dr. Brody, let me ask you, what are the, the, the light things about this disease? Oh, tell me how can people uh, have hope? I think that if we look at the past decade, we cannot help but feel hopeful uh, about the coming decade. Uh, the therapies that we were using 10 years ago were really just primarily chemotherapy-based approaches to treat patients with lymphoma. And now we have a huge armamentarium of different therapies, many of them more uh, effective than some of the prior chemotherapies, mostly more uh, well-tolerated than some of the prior therapies. Uh, and much more elegant that they specifically target lymphoma cells uh, as opposed to some of the older chemotherapies which hurt the cancer but it can also hurt the person. So some of these newer therapies, one of them that Janet referred to is an approach called a targeted therapy. And this example is something where people just take a pill every day just like their uh, diabetes medicine or their cholesterol medicine or their blood pressure medicine. Uh, and, as you, and as you've heard, it can have some great results. Janet's been in complete remission for three years now. And another new field of therapies is uh, something called immunotherapy, where we actually uh, push the patient's immune systems to go and recognize and specifically eliminate their own cancer cells. This has been an idea for a long time, but just in the past few years, we've seen just uh, fantastic results uh, with different types of cancers, with some patients uh, receiving therapies that 
pushed their immune systems to melt away large tumors and have put them into long-lasting remissions. It's, 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 it's a real inspiration uh, for both the physicians taking care of these patients and for the patients and for their families. Dr. Brody, I'm going to wrap up. September is Blood Cancer Awareness Month. You've talked very detailed about this. Where would you like my audience to go and get more information? There are a lot of great resources. I think a, a patient's physician is the starting point for a, a source of information. We're also lucky to have good online resources. The Lymphoma Research Foundation has a website at lymphoma.org and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society at lls.org. Oh, thank you so very much. And I'd like to thank you, Janet, for sharing your personal story and inspiring people who are listening. And Dr. Brody, thank you so very much for coming on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you, Valder.